How's it going, everybody? I want to make a quick video talking about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu belts. I was just recently promoted to blue belt. I've been a white belt for a while, so I was excited to get a blue belt. Um, at our school, we have to provide our own belts, so when you get promoted, somebody will just throw you a blue belt, you take the picture, but then you need to get your own blue belt. So, my first uh, thing that I needed to do was to try to find a blue belt. So, I got online, checked Fighters Market, um, all the different eBay, uh, Amazon, and I was trying to find a Corral belt. Um, this is the belt that I bought on eBay. I got a great deal on this originally, and um, I've used it the whole time and loved it. It's Let me talk a little bit about it. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows of stitching. It's just a, it's 100% cotton. It's a pretty pliable belt. I mean, it's, um, you can work it, and it's, it's not completely flat, you know, it'll stay, keep its shape pretty well, but it is uh, pliable and you can manipulate it. So, but anyway, I wanted to try to get a blue belt just like this corral. Unfortunately, they were sold out everywhere. I could not find an A2, so I had to go to plan B, which would be this. I like Control Industries, so I was hoping to get a cotton belt just like my corral in Control Industries. However, they were also sold out as that as well. But they had something on there called the Deluxe Belt. And it's got a pearl weave. This is 350 GSM. So it's a lightweight. It's the same material they use in their lightweight geese. So um, it's, it's a lot thinner. And it's designed to be lightweight. Uh, the color on this was a nice uh, royal blue. So I said, what the heck, I need to get a blue belt, so I'll check it out. So this is the Control Industries Deluxe 350 GSM belt made out of uh, ghee material. And then finally, uh, I found a great deal, was just happening to be stumbling on across, I was on eBay, of course, and I found this, a very high-end belt. It's an Eos and Panther made right here in USC, USA in Georgia I believe and this is probably a one of the higher end bells running upward probably sixty seventy dollars um, you can see here there's 12 rows of stitching the stitchings are like you know exactly uh, in in order and parallel etc um, so and the color on this one was a little more faded a little more kind of a uh, in between a baby blue and a royal blue so this was the other belt that I was able to get so since I won't be able to wear the corral anymore uh, but I did want to show if you guys are uh, to compare them I'm gonna try them on but so this is a it's about an inch a little over an inch and a half wide uh, the logo is good, it's kept its shape really well, like I say it's pliable, it's soft, and if they had had a blue one, I would have definitely gotten it, I, and I still may get the blue corral if I could find one soon, I guess. Um, basically the belts, uh, like I say, you'll see the color difference here in the navy, so if you have it's kind of funny um, if you have maybe dark blue in your gi or light blue in a gi, you may want to look into some different brands that offer a different shade. I mean, I'm going to be wearing a blue belt for a long time, so um, I just wanted to get something um, right away, but try to get something of quality. Uh, anyway, I'm going to try them on and talk a little bit about them then. Um, but yeah, as far as uh, the thickness of the belts, they all have kind of... Let me see if I can show this. They have like a, on one side of the belt, there's kind of where it's been folded over and stitched. So it's a little um, thicker on one end. But this belt, the Pro Weave belt, is very, when you wrap it around you, it's very, very uh, thin. This is the, very, the thinnest of the three belts by far. As far as, uh, let me talk about that. The pliability here is very pliable see and one thing about this belt being thin it actually is it's easy to kind of roll in like this 
So over time, I don't know if that's good, bad, doesn't make a difference, but it definitely should help with the knot staying tied and tight. So I'm going to have to wear this belt for a while to give another review. But for now, we're just kind of taking a look. We'll see what they look like knotted up, etc. Um, this belt is the thickest of them. Let me kind of show here. You can see pretty big difference. Like I say, there's a big, bigger side and a little. Make sure I have the seam lined up. Hang on. Seam side. So you can definitely easily see one as much. Uh, the pliability of this one, it doesn't just flim. So of the three belts, just as far as aesthetics, um, the EOS and Panther, this thing, every single stitch, uh, the core of the belt of the inside is, is probably a very nice piece of um, core cotton. Um, and you can see, so it's... it's it doesn't bend in it's gonna keep its shape um, but it's high quality you know and some of you may be thinking do I want to spend sixty something dollars on a blue belt I wouldn't personally and like I say this corral belt we'll talk about price uh, under 25 is the corral um, this one was like 33 bucks or something like that and I got this one I think for I say what is it 26 bucks something like that so super deal on this one uh, different colors so I can't wear this one anymore but we'll take a look at them and uh, we'll get to that all right guys what's up I uh, went ahead and put this belt on this is the EOS and Panther um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the belt while you guys take a look at it uh, first of all the weight the weight of this belt is 11.3 ounces um, and I guess that's 321 grams. Uh, you'll see them. Uh, and also, I am using the, I guess is what the Gracie video would call it, the Hollywood Super Lock Knot. So here's the EOS and Panther. And, uh, this belt, let me see if I can show this here. Find a spot here. This belt being slightly used was used in a rotation for about eight or nine months. So you'll see some light fading and tattering. You may not be able to see it. So it does it does wear uh, as you wear the belt, and this may have come in a slightly darker blue. So this is gonna. This is something that you would find if you order this belt. Is gonna. This is has a little wear on it. So, uh, but anyway, it, it really feels high quality. You could definitely feel the weight on it. It's got a really good looking knot, and so I probably wear this to promotion day for sure. Uh, I'm gonna roll in this belt, see how it stays tied, and uh, I'll give an update on it as well as the other belt. Well, let's put this other one on. So as far as the facts, yeah, let me try to say that one more time. We'll call this 11.3 ounces. And this is upwards of probably $60, $70 for the belt. But it's super high quality, looks great. I cannot say whether or not it stays tight or not. The Corral. Uh, I highly recommend this belt. I like it a lot. It's super duper light. This is the lightest of all the belts. This one's coming in at seven ounces, or I guess that's 204.5 grams. Um, let's see. If I can tie this, will be a miracle. So like I said, this is the Hollywood super lock and this belt uh, I don't know if that looks too great but it uh, this belt like I say is, is soft it's pliable it's lightweight they have a they have a super cool logo and they have actually a newer logo that I think actually looks better than this 
Um, so this belt, like I say, is probably under $25. Uh, has some really good colors. And um, I can't say enough about this belt. Uh, let's talk about uh, the stitching. I'll show you guys that one more time. And I wore this belt for two years, had no problems. Uh, look at the ranking belt. Most of my stripes fell off, so they don't really show the wear. But uh, so that's the corral belt. Highly, highly recommend. Great value. So let's get this control belt on. Uh, I definitely wanted to get a blue belt, so uh, I didn't want to get the baby blue Fuji, and I wasn't sure about a few other ones. So uh, I think. As I mentioned before, I would have gone with the cotton style control. But since I saw this there, I thought, what the heck, let's give it a shot. So it's super, uh, let's talk about this belt. It's definitely the thinnest of all the belts. And this one's coming in at 8.2 ounces. So you can also see a, it's a very rich royal blue. When you wrap it around you, you notice how thin it is. Uh, it's super duper pliable and uh, probably because of the thinness. And uh, let's see. So the corral is a seven, seven ounces. This control is uh, eight ounces. And the Eos and Panther is 11 ounces. So I don't know if you're super duper cutting. And I'm not really good at putting on the belts uh, without really looking at what I'm doing for some reason. <laughs> so I have no idea what this is looking like. Here we go. So this produces a very flat knot. Didn't get it lined up perfect, but... Got a rooster tail. So if you're, you know, there's a lot of different companies making these uh, gi material style. I have no idea if they're as thin as this one. But if you're looking for something thin, lightweight, I would say this would be very durable. This may be something to consider. But, uh, so anyway, these are all the, the two the belts that I have. And all right, thanks for looking, guys. Peace.